Hi everybody, in today's video we're going to be putting the black cat onto the red cat. And if you don't know what the black cat is, well, it's a focusing system that's designed exclusively for the red cat lineup. Alright, so we're just going to start with what's in the box. And what's in the box is actually a bunch of 3D printed parts. There is a, yep, there's the holder, which comes, oh, they're all, oh, no, yes. They're all in their own self-contained bag. Okay. Who knew? Let's get it open. You can tell I'm opening it for the first time because I did not know that. But there you go. So it comes in like this. And it is, uh, this is the primary piece of the black cat. And this is going to fit onto the collar of the red cat. Now if you have the first version of the red cat or the second version of the red cat, it both works. You just want to ensure that you put it on in such a way that you can actually um, fit it into the system. It also comes with these, which are the focusing ring for the red cat, and it's going to fit over top of the actual normal rubber focusing ring. It also comes with the rubber focusing ring, and it comes with the gear that fits with the ring right here. If we get it out, there it is, and a bunch of nuts. Now, on the box is the instructions right here. I'm going to link this at the end of the video, but and in the description below. But let's see if I can actually put it together and go. Now, there is one last thing that you need to know about the Black Cat, and that it does require the focusing motor, and it is designed with the ZWO EAF, which is the Electronic Automatic Focuser which comes separately in this box. And the nice thing about it is that ZWO products tend to be where I think a lot of people are going these days. Um, so getting this EAF, which is this box right here, pull it out. This here means that you're able to use it with an ASI Air, uh, you're use, able to use it with your computer, and you can pretty much use this anywhere to, you can focus it. So it's actually a nice little setup. So I'm gonna put this together following the instructions that I'm gonna now check online. I might do a little time lapse here to show you, and then we'll go into why I really like the Black Cat as an option over some of the other options that I've tried in the past. Okay, so apparently the instructions are a PDF document. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to have a check and see what it is. It overall doesn't look too complicated other than my copy isn't printed that well. I need some more ink for the printer. But overall, it looks relatively straightforward, so we're going to do that right now, step by step. So I've laid out all the gear on the table in front of me. I've also got a couple Allen keys of common sizes for this type of project so that I can actually use them in here. And I'm hoping the right ones. If not, I have an entire kit of Allen keys, both metric and imperial, off to the side. So we're going to try to do this and follow it step by step. I'm just going to have this video here. If you want to not watch me put this whole thing together, totally understand. I'm gonna put a time code right here where you can skip ahead to where I talk about this once I've actually put it all together. Also, probably be a chapter. All right, so we have a whole bunch of stuff here and I need a hex two, a hex 2.5 and a hex three. So I'm going to take a moment here to thank Steve from Ontario Telescope for lending me this equipment. I did want to try the Black Cat option versus the other option I had that ran with a belt. Which, overall the belt works well if you're in moderate temperatures, but it was a little bit concerning as I got to like the colder winter weather that you can expect up here in Canada. So overall the installation of the Black Cat is 
pretty simple and straightforward. There are some additional steps if you want to add the ASI Air or if you want to add an instrument shoe to the Black Cat because this is designed as an all-in-one solution. Okay, so we have it set up here. Now, I just have the Black Cat and the ZWO EAV. There is space here um, to install a accessory mount, and you can also have it where the ASI Air sits here in the lower section right there. I don't have either of those, so I'm not gonna worry about that for this, but it does come with a relatively long the um, USB cable, which you're gonna need, although, ooh, there we go to connect to your computer or the ASI Air or whatnot. Um, it is a standard little port like this. So overall it's pretty good. Plugs into the bottom there and we're just gonna take this up to my computer, plug it in so I can show you it working because I do not have the hand controller for the EAF. If you're looking at using this manually, I do highly suggest you get the uh, actually the enhanced edition or you pick up the hand controller separately. Uh, simply because otherwise you do need to plug it into a computer. Obviously, if you're doing tracking and astrophotography, you might have a computer around. Otherwise, you're connecting it up to an ASI Air unit. So we're going to take this upstairs and see how we can get to work. Okay, so I've come here to my computer and set this up to give you a quick little demo. Basically, I have this plugged USB cable into the computer, and I have ASI Studio connected in order to get to the EAF controller. Now I did have to install the ASCOM drivers and the ZWO drivers. I will of course have links below where you can find that and you can see here that it is set up and going. So if I go and press this button it actually starts rotating the thing and if you look really carefully there it goes and it'll keep going to a certain point. And there's some hard stops and some other stuff that you need to set up um, and you basically make sure that this connection is such that you can do it. But it is actually changing the position, which is kind of neat. And we are ready to go for imaging at night. Okay, so let's talk about why you might want to get the black cat. For, for the obvious reason is that it is actually there. It's a focuser. It adds to the red cat. I'm expecting to see something similar from black cat for the red cat 71 in the near future. Um, what is nice about it is that unlike some other systems, it actually is printed in ASA rather than PETG. So it has the extra strength and ability, but it doesn't have the UV problem of PLA. So this is a very robust system. Because it has the gears are integrated into the actual device, there's very little backlash versus using sort of that... The first focuser I got used a friction belt, and while that worked relatively well, it was somewhat temperature dependent on how well it functioned. So overall, I'm very happy with this. It does seem to work well. It does do it in micro steps that you can control, which is nice, and overall, it just worked. And finally, if you do have an ASI Air, you can attach it to the side, and you can attach a utility shoe on the top here for accessories, so that you can actually have this all as one nice, completely collapse product and this is actually quite nice and overall the pricing is not too bad i think it's about a hundred and something dollars for the black cat and then you have to buy the zwo eaf separately but that has a nice thing that can be used and transferred to multiple scopes and be used for quite some time and you're using basically an industrial product here um, that is very common very machined and then this is just 3d printed there and this works actually surprisingly well that's it for this review of the Black Cat. Obviously, I'm taking it out and doing some photos with it next, but overall, it, it focuses. Like, what else do you need it to do? Um, it's a focuser, and it's a nice compact one. And yes, I'm using this on the original um, Red Cat. The XL version also has it where it's designed to hold it. So no worries, depending on which version of the Red Cat 51 you have, this is going to work. So thanks for watching. Be sure to check out these other videos of usefulness and uh, check the link below if you're interested in getting one. Thank you very much.